Welcome to Weld.com. I had a student call me, and uh, I think he's been out three years, and he wants to mock up something here real quick, so I'm doing a quick problem solve on some values that I've kind of forgotten. I haven't run this in a while. I've got quarter inch thick stainless steel. I'm gonna run a 309 wire, and I'm gonna run on uh, tri-blend tri -blend gas, I'm sorry, uh, helium argon CO2. And he wants to run 035. I think whatever he's doing, he's got to do some fillet weld application. He wants a, a horizontal fillet weld, and I think I want to run a downhill for him too, just to kind of see where these values change or what the weld's going to do. I'm going to do 25.5 on my volts, 450 on my on my wire feed speed. But since I'm running this helium, then I have gone in and I've taken the inductance and I've taken it off of like the standard carbon steel wire that we'd run and I've reduced it down to like 20%. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to, the, the helium to me, when I see it, it's kind of a, a thick, heavy pop and it's a hotter arc. So I'm wanting to trim this thing down. I want to get that inductance out of there so I can make it crispy. Okay, I'm running hot and I'm running fast. So uh, let me, uh, let me get my hood on and we'll play for a little bit. Kind of sounds funny, I know. It's, just, it's that helium, just kind of a raspy. I've got a little bit of black on here. It's more of a soot. I do show a little bit of color. My bead profile is peaked. Uh, I'm not alarmed with it. I'm watching it drive in there pretty good. I run a lot of stainless wire. It seems like mine always comes out a little bit peaked for some reason. And that's got a point down through there. Uh, let me turn this up in a... Uh, let's go like this and see what we're going to get out of our downhill welds. I wouldn't want to run this uphill. It's too hot and fluid. So <clears throat> we did a couple of quick runs here. 25, 5, 450 inches a minute. Um, Again, I had turned that down. I don't know the audio when it came out. I'm sure that it sounds like a, a big hiss, a hiss and a pop. That's just the nature of the helium. This weld laid down pretty nice uh, and flat. That's the downhill part of it. This weld is the horizontal. I could play a little bit and do a, uh, a, a gun angle what I want to get away from if I did a gun angle and I pushed it slightly since it's that hot, I wouldn't want to throw a BBs out on the material or whatever. I'm thinking this is going to work for him. So I think the main thing was he's not run tri-blend gas before. So he may not be used to that. And I don't, I'm not sure what machine he's going to run. So if there's an inductance adjustment that we can do on his machine, we can probably dial this in. Anyway, it's one of those quick problem solve things. Quarter inch stainless steel, 309 wire, um, running about 30, 35 cubic feet per hour because it has helium in it. So, hey, I, I learn, I'm learning a little bit on this stuff here, and I think I already see some adjustments. I'll just have to see what product he's building. So, uh, please subscribe to the videos. Appreciate you watching. Thanks.